Uh, my name's Kev Jones. The biggest fear of the day is hitting the wall. Uh, it's happened to me once before, so I'm really keen to understand how to prevent that. So one of the ways to avoid hitting the wall actually is to make sure that you consume carbohydrate during the race, but to start early. A, lot, a large um, mistake that athletes often make is they consume carbohydrate, but they leave it too late. So really you need to start fueling right from the very first mile actually. Fuel every 20 minutes, hit your carbohydrate targets, and hopefully you won't hit the wall. My biggest worry for marathon day is getting to the last part of the race and how my body will react to that. You never really know how your body's going to feel towards the end of a race. Each race can be different, any day can be different. The best thing you can do is prepare, um, eat very well, drink well, and literally go out there and give it your all. So my biggest worry for marathon day is getting injured and not finishing the race, running out of steam and essentially failing. So the best way to make sure that you finish the race is to make sure that you start the race in the most suitable way to finish it which is what you do in the 24 to 48 hours before the race, what you do at breakfast, and last but not least, is what you do during the race itself. And as we all know, carbohydrate is the most common denominator across all three of those time scales. So really adhere to best practice nutrition, and trust me, you will finish the race. If you're worried about picking up an injury on marathon day, one of the best things you can do is really focus on your technique. Um, one of the best ways to do this is to try and think about your cadence, so how many times your foot touches the floor uh, per minute. Probably the best thing to do is look to increase your cadence, so perhaps shorten your stride length. This way you're going to put a lot less pressure through your joints, it's going to lighten the load, it's going to make things more simple, less impact and less force, and that way you're going to really reduce your chance of picking up an injury. My name is Emma and um, my biggest worry for Marathon Day is um, probably joint and muscle pain um, and just making it three hours in or so and not quite being able to finish. Um, that's why I'm here to learn about uh, which gels and supplements I can take to get me through the race and to help me recover after the race. When it comes to muscle pain during marathons, it's simply unavoidable. So I think the best thing you can do is be mentally prepared for it. You're going to be running from anything from three to four and a half, five hours. Best thing you can do is just remember that it is going to hurt, it's going to be painful, um, but if you want to, you can just put the miles in during the training, trust your training, and that's going to put you in the best place to handle it when you get into the later stages of the race.